He sent me a smoochy picture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Because he's so funny looking. Hey, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> uh, today we're going to be looking at five knives and why I bought them. And that's about it. It's not a review or anything like that. We're just looking at some cool knives. Maybe you'll see something you've never seen before. And um, bonjour, privet, guten tag, hola, and ciao to my foreign friends. And without further ado, we'll just get right into it. Uh, so this is a um, uh, Texas toothpick. You can see the blade is a little short here, but that's okay. It is from a collectible uh, knife company, Shipley. Uh, let me see if I can. There you go. It's a Shipley. Um, pretty old um, tang stamp for a Shipley like that and um this knife is original bone the reason i got this knife is uh the first uh, toothpicks that i got of course were from um imperial and i was wondering you know what what the major brands and manufacturers were they a lot different and of course they are they're a lot sturdier than those imperials and uh, that's why i got that one and let's see here, um, this is a um, French knife, it's a Pradel, Pradel, however you want to pronounce that, Pradel, um, typical French blade. This is a pretty old knife, and it's unusual into it, and that's why I bought this knife, is uh, because it is an older knife. It looks pretty cool, so I could clean this up, but I've never cleaned it up. Um, I have actually I have cleaned it up a little but I didn't go ahead and uh, shine it up or take out all those pits or anything like that just because I don't know I think it, it looks cool just like it is and um, this is called an alpine model and uh, that's why I got that um, this is a <clears throat> fairly new um, let's see yes yeah, 2020 a uh, boker it's a four bladed congress I have a lot of bokers. I'm always hoping that I'll find a boker that's really nice knife, and I just uh, never really find them. The older ones are really nice. The newer ones, you know, not so much. But this is made in China. It looks pretty good. But that's what I was trying to do is trying to, uh, um, you know, look at bokers' newer knives. And this knife here, um, all the blades hit, uh, which just amazes me, um, you know, coming out of China. But all the blades hit, the, the edges were all sharp. I had to knock the edges down. I had to bend the blades so that they would not hit. And so that was kind of disappointing. But that's why I got it, just to see, you know, what, what uh, newer brokers were doing. This is a little Fremont cutlery knife, Fremont Cutlery Company, and uh, of course it is a candy stripe, and um, it's a little different color. You get some greens there, some, some blues or purples, however you want to call that. A little different from your standard uh, candy stripe, and that's why I got this knife. It's a little different. And this knife right here, this is an, I believe this is another Shipley. Um, it's actually an E.C. Simmons. It's a cattle knife. And you can see that right there. And um, you see the keen cutter. And it has hammer forged right on the, stamped in the blade there. Also, this blade had kind of a... a rough cut to it like like it had been forged and not cleaned up but but you know of course this is pretty old so you can see parts of that right here but um on here this said keen cutter cattle knife kind of hard to see a little bit of that etching is still present on this uh knife 
just a cool little knife that's why i got it because this uh looks cool big old steer on there and it is collectible because it's a shipley uh, cattle knife so that's about it for those and i hope you enjoyed a quick look at those and um if you'd like to see more content like this please subscribe i'd love to have you to the channel and uh thank you so much for everybody that uh supports me i just got this recently a little uh paperweight with the american flag i got it when i was out uh yard sailing and i, I like it so uh anyhow thanks again